How's it going everyone? My name is Brett, welcome back to the channel, and welcome to version 4 of Genshin Impact. Yes, the latest, biggest content drop for this game is finally here. So, you know what that means. We got Fontaine, the latest region to be added to this game, the land of Hydro, new Archon quests, new story quests, new characters, new enemies, new items to collect, and just a lot of new things. And of course, some quality of life changes to the base game itself. So, um, so there's a lot to, to go over, but we'll get to that eventually. But for now, we're gonna do the latest Archon quest. Mm-hmm. Chapter 4, Act 1. So let's do this. So apparently we need to go to Karabat Rebat. Okay, so yeah, let's go. Let's do this. I'm very excited. So I, I, I've been waiting for this month for quite some time. The first time we came here. Good question. Oh, Paimon remembers. Nahida's consciousness had been trapped by the doctor, but we followed the clues she left behind to help her. Mm hmm. Good memory. So much time has already passed since then, and it seems Sumeru is changing for the better now that Nahida's in charge, right? Right. Paimon just hopes this peace will last a long time, and then Nahida won't have any more new problems to deal with. Mm hmm. Yeah, I guess it is hard to say what will happen. Yeah, guess you're right. Hmm. We somehow always find ourselves right in the thick of it. Mm hmm Who knows what will happen next? Come to think of it, maybe it's all because of you. <laughs> maybe you're just a magnet for trouble. <laughs> maybe I am, maybe I'm not, so what? to our next destination for now. Mm-hmm. Next stop, Fontaine. Ah, look who it is. Running into you in a place like this? I can see you two still love wandering around. Mm-hmm. Hi, Dia. Long time no see. Oh, it's Dia! Hmm. Since when are we just wandering around? We're usually taking care of some serious business. Even though it may have nothing to do with our journey. <laughs> but never mind that. What brings you here? I just finished a commission in the desert for a usual client of mine. Nothing too interesting. Just escorting a shipment of goods. I'm on my way to report back. Alright. That's when I saw you two all the way over there. Chatting away. What were you two talking about anyway? We're going to Fontaine. Hmm. Huh? Y you serious? Yeah. Can't say I saw that coming. Hmm. But you are travelers after all. I guess you'd never stay for too long in one place. Yeah, that's true. Bumping into you like this will become a rarity. Ah, I'm starting to feel sad just thinking about it. Hey, how about I gather a few mercs to escort you two? What do you say? Sure. Thanks, but no need. Oh, Paimon had no clue you'd miss us so much. But don't worry, we'll come back to see everyone when we get a chance. Right. <laughs> Sounds good. All you need to do to get to Fontaine is cross this stretch of desert and navigate some waterways. Knowing you two, I'm sure it won't be anything you can't handle. So, uh, when are you leaving? Hmm. Oh, wait a sec. Paimon just remembered there are still a few dishes in Sumeru that Paimon hasn't tried yet. <laughs> now, where's that list Paimon made? <laughs> Come on, Paimon, you had plenty of time for this. Hmm. Uh, can I help you? Hmm. He's a little sus. I see. Guess you won't be needing a going away party or anything. It's sad enough to see you go like this. Though, now that I think about it, Sumeru wouldn't be what it is today without you. Seems true heroes always prefer leaving quietly. <laughs> By the way, should we go say bye to Nahida? Uh... Sure. Oh! 
Good point. Then there's no need to bother her in the real world. <laughs> then I guess this is goodbye for now, Traveler and Paimon. Whether as a client or a friend, you're always welcome to come find me. Mm-hmm. Take care. Goodbye, dear. Bye-bye, Sumeru. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure we'll come back and visit. All right, let's see here. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. There it is. Fontaine. Yeah, that's crazy. Viewpoint. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Uh-huh. Yeah, like, look at that. Wow. Yeah, it's like the whole land is elevated. Okay. Um, but yeah, this this piece of, of the desert was not here before. So, this, this waypoint, yeah, this waypoint right here is a lock right off the bat, but there's another one over here that isn't so I kind of want to look around this new area for the desert real quick so give me a second I mean, I mean that that piece wasn't there before so yeah plus yeah there's another we another waypoint oh yeah yeah so speaking of waypoints in the map yeah they did update the map so now there's yeah now we'll show you underground areas which is definitely nice but I feel like this is a, a feature they probably should have added in a lot sooner especially with Sumeria because Sumeria has a lot of underground areas and well a lot of people complain that well there's a lot of underground areas and well there's no map for it and yeah. Mm-hmm. So there, there's a path with this waypoint. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I gotcha. Yeah, I, I kind of want to show off more of the uh, the underground portions of, of the map, this updated map. So let's say we go to Inazuma. Uh, there's one underground area right over here. So uh, when I hover towards this area on the right side, I can use the right stick to switch uh, the, uh, the levels pretty much. Yeah, I guess switch from... You know, the mainland, and then, you know, ground one and ground two, pretty much. Yeah, I can pretty much change the level. So now you can see what's below this this area. Obviously, we, there, obviously we see the boss, we see the domain. So, yeah. So, so that, that definitely a nice change. Okay, hold on. But, but, that, but that's just, you know, one, one piece of... Of the underground section of of Inazuma, so so there, there's not a whole lot of underground areas in Inazuma. Uh, there's one over here, yeah. You know, this this whole underground area on this island. Uh, but yeah, but uh, but yeah, in Sumero, yeah, there's lots of underground areas. So let's see here. Yeah, there's an underground area right here, which I'm pretty sure I have explored. Yeah, yeah, like I'm pretty sure I'm pretty certain I have explored every cranio Sumero with or without this latest update. But let's say like over here. Yeah, we got a little underground area over here. Obviously, this little underground area, underground area over here. Yeah, over here, over there. So there, there's a little, there, there's some small pockets here, there of on the ground. So that, that, that definitely nice, definitely nice. But especially with the desert, yeah, there's a lot of underground areas. Like say, like over here, uh, yeah, there's definitely. Some underground areas right here. And I think over here, yep. 
And, and and especially this this area over here, like you see, there are some underground waypoints. Like on the surface, like oh, I guess there's not really a whole lot. But when you look underneath, it's like holy crap! There's a whole there's a whole uh, there's a whole level underneath. Like that's just crazy. Mhm. Mm yeah. Like like look at that. Like all all the underground map that you could not see from well from the surface. So I'm I'm glad they did add this feature, but again, it just feels like it's a bit too little too late. But hopefully this will give people the opportunity to actually explore Sumeru to its fullest without feeling like they're they're just a headless chicken trying to figure out where where the heck to go. So yeah. But still, pretty nice, pretty nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, th there's the oasis, which is kinda funny. Okay. Anyway. So uh, yeah, about this waypoint over here. So let's go. This way. Yeah, I do wonder if there's like treasure around here, since this is new. Okay, well, I see the waypoint. Okay, so j just in case, uh, I'm gonna get my treasure compass real quick. Aha! Thought so. Alright, waypoint. Thank you. Okay, so yeah, yeah, you see my minimap? It changed because we're we're getting close to an under, underground area. So it's not it's not only the, the big map, you know, the actual map, but it's also but it also applies to the minimap. So very nice. Apparently, Lumine has that sword. Okay, let me see if I can fix that. Eh... Sure. So, where's this treasure? It's over that way, okay. Uh, we do got a challenge right here. Time challenge. Alright, what's this? Alright, might as well. And we might as well fully, you know, finish Sumeru, because this has been added in. Is this an answer from this world? Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. So that's up. Okay. Gotcha. Well, we got a sealer right here. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Okay. Where are you going, little buddy? Okay. Well, we got a chest right here. Got him up. Scatter! Mm -hmm. Try me. See here. Thank you. I wonder who this gift could be from. Okay, that way apparently. Who this gift could be from? Everyone hold hands. Right, try me. Hands with the Grow, grow, grow. There you go. Got him. 
who this gift could be from. All right, let's see here. All right, that way. Frog. Yeah, they like snail shells. Something like that. I see everything. Scatter. Germinate. Uh. Okay. Yeah, I feel like we should have gone through this tunnel first and then saw the well fontaine. I don't know, I feel like this would have been a much better build-up for, for the reveal of Fontaine, just saying. I guess we're seeing these, these statues of snails and clams. Which are supposed to represent water. I mean, I guess you can say they also represent Kokomi because, well, you know, she's, you know, a practic she's practically a mermaid. I feel like this would have been a much better reveal because of the build debt. Just saying. Alright. But there is an underground. Sorry, not underground. There's a, a surface level of this area. Yeah, there's still a surface area of this area. Plus, my compass did say, yeah. Okay, now it's telling me there's something over here. Yeah, I, I, I know this is supposed to be... You know, the episode where we, where we go to Fontaine, but, you know, they did add this little piece of desert that I do want to, you know, 100% fully. Yeah, yeah, this, this obviously wasn't here before. Got him out. Are vital. Okay. Okay, uh, yeah, let's actually go back over here real quick. Okay, so compass. Yeah. About up there, pretty much. Okay, give me a second. Okay, hold on. This is actually a good opportunity to show off the, the new party step screen. Yeah, this is the new party step screen. So yeah, um, now, now depending of where you are on the map, the background changes and of course every character has their own stance and their own intro. So let's see here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna switch out Kokomi for, let's say, uh, where's Kirara? There she is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, every character now has an intro. <laughs> so it, it's pretty cool. All expenses paid travel? <laughs> Count me in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is definitely more visually interesting, more visually appealing. Instead of just, you know, a, a plain background and everyone just standing in a straight line. So, yeah. Alright, so let's go. Man, it's just all the little quality of life changes. Yep. Okay, 
let's see here. Yeah, here we go. Don't try me. Get out of here. Oh, hi. Everyone hold in. Propagate. Eat yourself to home. Yeah. Yeah, give me a hot minute. Else? Okay, nothing over here. There's a money pile. Yeah, don't mind me. Positions. I see everything. Scatter. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Like, like I say, don't mind me, but you know, here I am just killing a you know hilly troll just minding his own business. Sure, if there's anything up there. Hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of curious of what's up there. Plus, it would give me the, you know, the highest, the highest vantage point, pretty much. Hmm. Okay, hold on. I am getting close to the border. Yeah, I'm not sure if that is climbable. You know what? I'm gonna try. And... Okay, hold on. I'm gonna get Wanderer. Let's see here. There you are. Alright, let's see here. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'm starting to think that you're, you're not supposed to get up there. Checking. The wind rises. Well, I see the statue of seven. I think I may have picked this area clean. I mean, that looks climbable, the right? Rises. Yeah, he doesn't exactly do well on slopes. I mean, it, it is interesting how Fontaine is pretty much over here. You know, pr pretty much far away from, let's say, well, I guess a little bit of Sumeru and of course Liyue. Yeah, it, it, it is definitely out there. Yeah, you can't necessarily like, say, walk or take a boat all the way over here. Yeah, I have to go pretty much over here to get there. Yeah. Yeah, like, like, like this, this whole area right here is just a whole lot of dead space. So yeah. I mean, who knows, maybe this area will be filled with, say, like, maybe the next major region. You know, Natlin, or even Snezhnaya. I don't know. I mean, I imagine Snezhnaya would be 
way up north or something like that. I, don't, I mean, I don't know. I'm just taking wild guesses. Or it could be, you know, it'll probably branch out all, all the way over here. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, I think I'm done with this area. Okay, so yeah, let's uh, let's head to Fontaine. Okay, so my best guess to get over there is take a boat. Yeah, there's a wave rider right here, so teleport real quick. And just gonna switch parties. Yeah, I do have Lumine equipped because while well, I do want her to resonate with Hydro. Mm-hmm. Let's see here. Mm-hmm. More turtles. Alright. Interesting camp. Alright. So cool. Don't mind me. So that's pretty much the entrance. Okay, let's go. Oh, I'm about it. Uh, I do wonder if there's anything on these. Yeah, if there's anything on these boats. Okay. Definitely made out of metal. Yeah, this is a whole new design. Okay. So they're pretty neat so far. Oop. Alright, I think that's my first Hydroculus. Mm hmm. Very pretty. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh. Yep, Hydroculus. All right, and I imagine it's probably gonna be like two or three hundred of those around Fontaine. So yeah. Though judging the size, this is only part one of Fontaine. I mean, I mean, just like with say Inazuma or. Or Samaro, you know, it's gonna, it's, you know, Fontaine's gonna be released in parts. Like, what we're seeing right now is probably just part one. We're probably gonna see, like, part two, three, four, maybe five or six in the future. I mean, we still have a whole, whole ass update, a whole ass version to go through. You know, version four through 4.8 or 9. You know, depending on how many points, point versions they're gonna release. I mean, I guess the highest is gonna be, like, 4.8 or 4.9. I mean, we never had a 4.9 or a 0.9. Yeah, we never have a we never had a 0.9 throughout these versions. Okay. Yeah, I am definitely noticing frame rate stutters. I mean, it's most likely because we're on a new area, so it's like compilating shaders or something like that. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I did set the the medium settings just in case. But yeah, I'm definitely noticing the stutters. Maybe that'll iron itself out once I explore more of the area. Alright, anyway. Yeah, I I'm just che checking these boats to see if they have any treasure on them. I mean, this one has a grapple point. Which it might be important. That's the same. I guess that's Fontaine's version of the, the money pile. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely like the new design. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, not really a whole lot, but yeah, that 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 those waterfalls are definitely loud. Okay, yeah, I think we're done with the, with the boats. Alright. So let's duck. So here we are. Oh, hello! And I guess I'll park right here. Yeah, hello! So aren't you cute? Sailor. Hello. Okay. Yeah, I wonder if you're gonna be an enemy type on the overworld. Okay. I'm right, supposed to go that that way. Let's see here. I think I'm done with that. Okay. Okay, there you go. Whew. After crossing all that sand and water, we finally made it! Uh-huh. Oh, this must be Fontaine's port! Mm-hmm. Pretty impressive. Yeah, that clock. Wow! Everything looks so... advanced in Fontaine! Uh-huh. Paimon's well, heard that the industry here is extremely developed, and there are all kinds of unusual machines! Mm-hmm. You could say this is like the Industrial Revolution or something like that. Just seeing the sights as a tourist is nice, but maybe it would be better if we found something to do. What do you think? Hmm. Yeah, let's see if we can meet the Hydro Archon. That would be pretty interesting. Good idea! Nahida gave us loads of useful information. Seeking out the Seven is probably still our best source for information at this point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to find my brother. The more we can learn, the better. So, what do you think the Hydro Archon's like? Will we get along? Nahida said that she has a very unique personality. Whatever that means. I imagine she might be a handful. To learn about a nation's god, start with the nation's people. There seems to be some locals talking over there. Let's go see if we can join the party. Right. If you ask me, it's a tragedy how things ended for him. Clearly, he was a pretty decent person. Hmm? Yeah, I didn't expect that kind of ending for him. I thought he would at least fight on a little longer for his family. I was expecting a sudden plot twist, but it's a pity that it never happened. Still, his story is quite the tearjerker. Are you guys talking about a real event or a movie? Uh, excuse me. Can I help you two? I couldn't help but notice you standing here listening. Uh, hi. <laughs> We're travelers new to Fontaine, and we had something we wanted to ask, 
but you seem to be really busy talking about some kind of play, so we didn't want to interrupt. <laughs> uh, play? Oh, no, no, no. We're talking about something that really happened. Oh, okay. In fact, it's a case that was just heard a few days ago. Okay. Really? Like, a real trial? But the way you were talking about it and the words you used just now made it sound like some kind of story. Well, good tales are often based on true stories, aren't they? And what you see in reality may also be someone deliberately putting on an act while harboring ulterior motives. Whether something is true or not simply isn't that important. The main thing is whether the story being acted out on the stage is splendid enough. Oh, but it looks like you're not from around here. You probably don't know that the Fontaine Court of Justice is called the Opera Epicles, or more commonly known as just the Opera House. Uh -huh. But, uh, shouldn't court cases be treated a little more seriously than that? Not to question Fontaine's way of doing things, it's just that putting someone on trial is usually a very serious thing. <laughs> no worries. Other visitors to Fontaine have wondered the same thing. You could say that we just don't want to waste the moving stories behind those cases. And as for your worries about whether the cases are treated with due reverence, we have the absolutely just and honorable Chief Justice Nouvellet. As well as the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analys Cardinal, a machine created by the Archon. Between the machine and the Chief Justice, false charges and injustice are a thing of the past now. Okay. This is definitely the nation of justice. Pure trees? Is it some kind of machine too? Oh, Paimon's curious. We should check it out if we get the chance. Wait, Paimon almost forgot to ask you a question. Um, do you know what we should do if we want to meet the Hydro Archon? Oh, that's easy. Just go to the Opera House. Lady Farina practically lives there. You could definitely say it's her biggest passion. Farina? That's her name? Ha. <laughs> I think what they mean is that they wish to speak with the Archon personally. In that case, I'm afraid it's going to be a tad more difficult. You'll have to make an appointment well in advance, and it'll depend on whether or not she has any time slots available. Make an appointment? Huh. Is the Hydro Archon super busy taking care of official stuff? Wait, didn't you say that she's always at the Opera House? No, no. Lady Farina seldom takes an interest with the nation's affairs. The reason it's difficult to make an appointment is simply because she's incredibly popular. That's right. After all, she is the Archon. Though she may tend to get a little dramatic from time to time, people can't get enough of her. Huh. First time Paimon's ever heard of an Archon being described that way before. <gasps> Wait! Paimon gets it now! The Hydro Archon is kind of like a big celebrity here, right? Yeah, I suppose you could say that. <laughs> Perhaps you could even say our mascot. <laughs> yeah. Hang on. This is still Fontaine's Archon you're talking about. You should show some more respect. Yes, you're right. I guess I should at least try to be a little more respectful in front of visitors. Otherwise, I might get arrested and find myself face to face with Monsieur Nouvellette. <laughs> Come on. Sure, there's a lot of laws here, but nobody's going to be arrested for saying something disrespectful about the Hydro Archon. Seems the people of Fontaine really like the Hydro Archon. Alright, I think we get it. Thank you! At least we now know that we can find the Hydro Archon at the Opera House. But who knows how long making an appointment will take? <sighs> Guess we could have a look around the city in the meantime. Right. Hey, what are you looking over there for? Hmm? There's a girl over there. Huh. Oh. Maybe something's the matter. <gasps> She's not going to jump into the water, is she? Uh, maybe we better go check on her. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's her. Hello. Uh, hello? Uh, hello there. Excuse me. Are you alright? Huh? 
Ah, uh, I'm fine. Thanks. Oh, okay then. We just noticed that you seem to be worried about something. About many things, actually. But there's nothing I can do but just keep my troubles to myself. I was just reminiscing about a place my brother and I would play when we were kids. It was just atop that hill over there. See? Okay. Uh, you're pointing at the sea. <laughs> Wait, are you saying that you and your brother lived in the water? <laughs> Maybe they're mermaids. No people call the waters around Fontaine a sea. It's actually just an inland lake that's filled with fresh water. Okay. And no, I can still see that hill clearly in my memories. Now, it's been completely submerged. He would skip and jump, tossing sand in the wind. The sun shone brightly, and the air was filled with the scent of the sea. But now, the water is gradually swallowing our memories. <sighs> it won't be long before it swallows us. Okay, a little dramatic. get what you mean. Ah, I don't believe we've had the pleasure of meeting. Are you Lynette's new friends? Hello. Oh, and you are? Thanks for looking after my sister. She often comes here to reminisce about our childhood, that's all. There's no need for any concern. Oh, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Linny, and this is my sister Lynette. If I had to guess, I'd say you must be travelers from abroad. Mm-hmm. So yeah, Lenny and Lynette. Pleasure to meet you two. Nice to meet you! Paimon is Paimon, and this is the Traveler! We just arrived in Fontaine! Mm-hmm. We were just talking with your sister. Uh... Even though we didn't really get what she was saying. Hmm, I see. It's unusual for Lynette to be so willing to talk with anyone. In fact, she seldom speaks at all. I'm usually the only one she ever talks to. Oh, really? Then you two are just like us! Paimon's always the one talking for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I guess because you're the one that talks for me. <laughs> so that's how you think it is? <laughs> yeah. I also think my brother can be too talkative at times. <laughs> <laughs> Seems you were right, Paimon. We are quite similar. <laughs> so, what did Lynette mean just now when she said that the water is engulfing your memories? And that it won't be long before it engulfs you too? Oh, that. It's from a prophecy that's been circulating in Fontaine for some time now. Well, I suppose prophecy isn't exactly the right word, because that implies a certain amount of uncertainty. There's no doubt about what's happening in Fontaine now. What's happening? Where to begin? Hmm... Let's put that question on hold for a moment. We still haven't formally greeted each other yet, have we? Uh, did all the introductions earlier not count? <laughs> Hello, Traveler. Hello. Yeah, hello. And hello, Paimon. <laughs> okay. Hey! Why did Paimon get a handshake? You're not poking fun at Paimon, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Please, don't take offense. Just consider it a sort of etiquette we have here in Fontaine when making new friends. You should remember it. It might prove useful. Oh, all right then. Well, Paimon's just happy to have a local friend now. Mm -hmm. By the way, we were just getting ready to go to the Opera House to meet the Hydro Archon. Would you be able to show us the way? Oh, so you're going to see Lady Farina? No problem at all. In fact, I was planning to go to the Opera House later myself. I'll gladly take you once I finish things here. Please, follow me. Okay. Alright, cool. So I'm just following. Mm 
Very impressive. Uh, you said you were going to see Lady Farina? Well, it seems Lady Farina has come to see you. Oh. Okay. Oh, hello. Okay. Huh. So, she's the Hydro Archon? But, how did she know we were looking for her? Hmm. My dear people, rich and poor, those with cup in hand and those with nothing at all, raise your glasses in celebration! If you don't have one, then just raise your hand in lieu. Okay. As you can all see, two unfamiliar travelers have arrived in our nation. Come, let us make a toast in honor of this traveler and her companion, who have journeyed here from distant lands. Okay. Uh, is she talking about us? <laughs> Obviously. I've long heard of the turmoil and chaos you left in your wake as you visited other nations. But I welcome you nevertheless. No, I have come to receive you personally. Okay. Yeah, I do like how she has two different eyes, pretty much. Fear is for insignificant cowards. I am a god, and I will never entertain the notion of such meaningless wariness. You can be rest assured. I see clearly your sincerity. Of course, seeking an audience with me is the most sensible thing to do. It will allow you to truly behold my power and witness my authority. Intelligent people always gather under the <laughs> correct banner. I, Fosalor, hereby welcome you to the nation of Hydro and acknowledge the value and significance of your trip. Now, you may rejoice in this. Well, finally, Archon was easy enough. Yeah, Paimon still can't believe it. Feels like we've only been here for a few minutes. Yeah, I know. But the Hydro Archon's entrance was, uh, how should Paimon describe it? A little over the top? Yeah, maybe a little. Ahem. <clears throat> uh, Miss Hydro Archon, how did you know we were coming? Ah, I see. As Outlanders, you inevitably lack even some of the most basic understanding. Don't forget that even the gods can be divided into the mediocre and the excellent. I suppose it's only natural for you to be awestruck by my abilities. Of course you would use my original username. You had best stop and consider. Do you really have the noble qualities and etiquette necessary to communicate with a god? All it takes is a flick of my finger for me to know everything about you. Yeah, isn't that the guy that we saw earlier? In, in uh, in, in Rebat? Yeah. Whoa. Talk about sounding high and mighty. Yeah. Yeah, it feels like she can't get over herself. <laughs> oh? What's with these looks? Perhaps the welcoming ceremony still isn't enough? Hmm, what else should I say then? Uh, is she waiting for us to start talking? I don't know. Wow, I didn't expect to see Lady Farina here. What a surprise! Wait, does this mean they're the legendary blonde traveler? How did I not notice before? <laughs> hey, what's all the commotion? Oh, is that Lady Farina? Is there some kind of drama going on? Of course. That's the blonde traveler. The one all those stories are about. Lady Farina came here to personally see her. 
Oh, I bet this is going to be the duel of the century. Oh, I've got to see this. I knew Lady Farina would never disappoint. <laughs> yes, but don't get too excited now. My dear believers and spectators alike tend to get quite rowdy. And despite the noise, I've come to tolerate all their ruckus. You may consider this my reward to all of you. I have determined that there will be an epic duel between myself and this traveler from another land, just as you were hoping to see. Okay. Uh, now she wants to fight? Aren't we getting a little ahead of ourselves? Not afraid? Might I remind you that this is a duel against the divine? What are you trying to do, traveler? Provoking a god in front of her people? <clears throat> Stand down, Clorend. I admire her bravery. Few have the courage to draw their sword against a god. She is obviously a true warrior. <laughs> Unfortunately, people nowadays only crave to be thrilled, and a mere duel will not slake their thirst for excitement. Huh. Yeah, she's right. Just a duel wouldn't be all that interesting. <laughs> <clears throat> On Araneus, criminals are always requesting duels to defend their honor. They're getting a bit old, to tell the truth. You see, then, as the god of justice, I shall face this traveler in another kind of duel. A duel in court! Court. Whoa, all right! Now that'll be worth seeing! Right. This is Fontaine, after all. It's such a grand opera house, it would be a pity not to use it. Why do you care so much about the crowd's reactions? Seems you've spent a little too much time in the opera house. Besides, how exactly do you plan to have a duel in court? You mean you're going to put us on trial? Yeah, we really- yeah, we literally just arrived here. <laughs> oh, we have reason to put you on trial. It's obvious, isn't it? Obvious. According to Fontaine Law, no one is permitted to release any flying objects within Fontaine city limits during the first three days of each month. You are clearly guilty of violating this law, no? Are you talking about Paimon? Oh, so that's what they've done wrong. Mm, that's Our Lady Farina. No one knows the laws of Fontaine like she does. You call that obvious? Object? <gasps> you mean Paimon? <laughs> Precisely. Now, if you two have no objections, then in the name of the Hydro Archon, I order your arrest. Of course. My apologies, Lady Farina. I don't mean to spoil the fun, but if you would allow me to interject, I don't think that Paimon here meets the definition of a flying object. Yeah, she's a flying person. Not crazy. How could anyone call Paimon a flying object? Yeah, she's not a UFO. Ah, great magician Linny, my beloved citizen. I'll permit you to object, but how exactly do you plan to prove your claim? <laughs> As a magician who just rained on your parade, I naturally should shoulder the responsibility of saving the show. So, with such an audience gathered here, allow me to perform a trick for everyone. Okay. Hmm. Uh, what's going on? Ta-da!
Ah, from 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 earlier, yeah. There. As you can all clearly see, Paimon should be classified as, well, something like a balloon. This rope has been in the Traveler's hand all along. It was just that no one could see it before. <laughs> you call that magic? You've got to be joking. <laughs> I thought it was pretty good. Nice one. Huh. I'm not sure what to think. It seems Lady Farina's charges no longer hold water. <laughs> okay. Apparently she found that amusing. Amusing. Very amusing, Lenny. Just the sort of unexpected twist that I enjoy. With you here, today's performance can finally be called complete. Performance? You see all this as a performance? <laughs> In which case, consider the matter of your trial resolved. The god of justice will not bring charges against an innocent person. But when there are valid grounds, I will not only judge travelers from abroad, but even the gods of other lands. Hmm. <laughs> I look forward to seeing your upcoming performance at the Opera House, Mr. Linny and Miss Lynette. That's enough for now. Toodaloo! <laughs> Toodaloo. Okay. Yeah, I have a feeling she's gonna be a handful. Thanks for bailing us out. Don't mention it. I just happened to remember that there was such a law, so I did a little preparation, just in case. I didn't think it would actually come in handy. All right. So, now do you see what kind of god Lady Farina is? Yep. She can be a bit confusing at times, but she is still amenable to reason. Yeah, is she really that reasonable? Magician Linny. It sounded like you'll be performing at the Opera House, right? <laughs> I just know a few simple tricks I use to make a living. Lynette is my assistant. It will actually be my first time performing on the most prestigious stage in Fontaine, the Opera House. But isn't the Opera House where criminal trials are held in Fontaine? When there are no public trials being held, the Opera House hosts a variety of other performances. To the people of Fontaine, the line between a trial and a performance can be a little blurred. Blurred. And speaking of performances, I would be remiss to forego this opportunity gifted by fate. Might I invite the two of you to see my performance? My brother is always excited to make new friends. Sure. We don't really have anything to do now, and we wanted to go to the Opera House anyway. Mm -hmm. I would be delighted. Splendid. In that case, why don't we go together? I'll show you the way. I just have something to take care of first. Is there any way I can help? Oh, you really mean it? Then I'll take you up on your offer. This is a magical item known as a magic pocket. Perhaps you can help me distribute them to the people here. Okay. Gotcha. Huh? What are they going to use it for? About that... Hmm... You asked me before about the prophecy, right? Let me start by telling you a little more about what it entails. I'm not sure exactly when it began, but a prophecy has been circulating around Fontaine. It says that every person in Fontaine is born with sin. No matter how the Nation of Justice holds trial after trial, this sin cannot be absolved. Until one day, the water levels in Fontaine will rise, and the sinful people will slowly be drowned. 
In the end, the people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only the Hydro Archon will remain, weeping on her throne. Only then will the sins of the people of Fontaine be washed away. That sounds pretty gloomy. Why are people in Fontaine born with sin? What is that supposed to mean? There are lots of guesses. Some say that the ancestors of Fontaine stole the power of the seas and stirred its wrath. Mm -hmm. Others say that the people of Fontaine never heeded the first Hydro Archon's warnings and offended Celestia. But here in Fontaine, evidence is what matters. There hasn't been concrete evidence for any of these claims, so they can only be regarded as conjecture. If even the people in Fontaine don't know what sin they committed, wouldn't it be better just to ignore the prophecy completely? Why bother feeling guilty all the time? That's exactly what the people did at first. But... In the last few years, the water levels in Fontaine have actually started rising. Hmm. Many places have already been completely submerged, and now lie beneath the sea. Many people carry on with their lives as before and shrug it off as a natural phenomenon. But my family and I think that the people of Fontaine shouldn't ignore the possibility, which would end up sentencing them to death. We hope that at least the people who reside near the waterfront can move away before it's too late. So, we've started distributing magic pockets to them. As a magical item, these magic pockets have astonishing capacity. I'm sure they will come in handy when people are moving their belongings. Oh, Hyman gets it! It's like preparing for a rainy day! But this is more than a bit of rain. Hmm. Perhaps only absolute power could ever contend with such a catastrophe. <laughs> but who knows? We're just tiny specks in the grand scheme of things. Now, if you'd like to help, then please give these magic pockets to anyone nearby. Be sure to convince them to take it, regardless of what they say. Okay. Magic pocket. Okay. Let's see here. Yep. I got three of them. Okay. Gotcha. Mm hmm. I should probably, do should probably turn those in when I get the chance. Uh, but yeah. Gotcha. Uh, okay. Hello. What's this? So you also believe in the prophecy. <laughs> Keep it. I won't have any use for it. What? You mean you don't believe in the prophecy? No, no, I believe in the prophecy. But I also believe in another story. The story says that people once lived in the ocean. They were one with the ocean and couldn't live apart from it. But as time wore on, People desired to live on land and developed blood vessels, encapsulating the sea within their bodies. Thus, could people set foot on land. Yeah, that's just how evolution works. So, if you ask me, when the water rises and takes us all, it'll be like we're going home. Oh, we hadn't heard that one before. But people can't live underwater. They'll die. You should probably still take it. <sighs> All right, I'll take it. I guess I just feel that being dissolved into the water doesn't necessarily mean death. Okay. What do you think? Pretty interesting story, huh? I guess. Okay, on to the next person. Hello. So you're the blonde traveler that everyone's been talking about. My apologies for not recognizing you earlier. It's fine. Oh, a magic pocket? Seems you really thought of everything. I guess it's better to prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Thanks. Oh, please, 
Also thank the magician on my behalf when you get the chance. Mm -hmm. Okay, one more. Hello. Huh? <laughs> I don't want that thing. The way I see it, if the prophecy's true, it's still gonna be a long time before the water can cover everything. Life is all about living in the moment. What use is there in worrying about the future all the time? We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Yeah, that's kind of like my mentality. You should still take it. You never know when it'll come in handy. Oh, all right, fine. Thanks. It's just that... If I start moving, that means I've already given up on the life I have now. I'd really rather not. Okay. I really can't imagine what it would be like if things changed. Yeah, change can be scary. Okay. Yeah, we're done. Oh? You already handed out all of the magic pockets? Hm. That was fast. So, what did people have to say? I bet you heard some... Uh, interesting opinions. Yeah, no kidding. Yes, but that will change once disaster strikes. I know they'll change their minds, so it's only right to help them prepare. Is there anything else you need to do before we leave? Yes, one last thing. I have the magic pockets made by a workshop in the Court of Fontaine. Since we're out and about, I was thinking about bringing him some more materials. So, you want to collect materials? Just tell us what the materials look like and we'll help! Many hands make light work! Yep. Oh, that would be much appreciated. We'll need some Romaritime flowers. I remember seeing them near the waterfront on the east side of the harbor. Okay. Over there, huh? Mm hmm. Yeah, you, can you can definitely see a lot from a distance. Okay. Hmm. It seems we have to use hydro to collect for maritime flowers. Okay. Hydro, you say? Gotcha. Cool. Yeah, g give me a second. I my hey, cool. And what we got? What we got here? Okay. Got to play new local specialties. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need a more consistent hydro unit. Let's see here. Take heart. Victory will be ours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is pretty beautiful though. In you know that background. Okay, so cool. Yeah, I imagine these are for either Lenny or Lynette. Also, I do acknowledge the red exclamation point, but I'm gonna save that for later. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, let's get some heals real quick. And I might as well remove my, my compass, because, well, I won't be needing it. Okay. So, we're back. You made quick work of that. I can tell you're an experienced traveler. I've also finished collecting a few here. Maybe next time you'll feel like helping too, Lynette. Hmm. No way. I'm in power saving mode too. Otherwise, I fear I may not have any energy left for the performance at the Opera House. What? What are you, like a robot? <sighs> Fine. Though the performance is still a long way off. Now that we're finished here, we should get ready to head back to the Court of Fontaine. So, 
We're going to the Court of Fontaine before we head to the Opera House? Good. Paimo wants a tour of Fontaine's largest city and try... <laughs> try what? Wait, shh. Have you noticed that person over there? The young girl. Huh? What's wrong with her? Paimo didn't notice anything. <laughs> She's obviously a thief. A thief? Magicians and thieves practice similar methods. We divert attention and a distracted audience is one that won't discover what you're really doing. Watch her movements carefully. Hmm. Oh, he's right! Shh, keep your voice down. We need to think of a way to catch her, but it seems she's very alert. Perhaps we should split up. Okay. You two can ride the lift over there and wait up top. I bet that'll be her escape route if she tries to run. Alright, understood. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's see here. Alright. Let's get to the very top, pretty much. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah, is that like a is that like a poodle? Hello. <laughs> woof, woof. Okay. Okay. Yeah, pretty pretty tired. Alright, so let's head up. Looks like this is an elevator. Yep. Here we go. Yeah, at least there's elevator music. Any second now. This is a long elevator. Okay, we're here. Uh huh? Yeah, here's the statue. Oh yeah, and you and you could get a good view of the of the water tree at the desert. All right, let's see here. Mm-hmm. There you go. Cool. Okay, so we got a domain right here. Okay, yeah, this is for the, the new set. Okay, gotcha. And it looks like we got the latest boss. Yeah, there's a, there's a boss over there. Lane line. Okay. Gotcha. And it looks like this one's also underground. Okay, well, cool. Alright. Yeah, I'll just fish you out again. Okay. So that's swimming, full on diving. And it's kind of, yeah, I think it's pretty much recommended that you do become Hydro when you are doing this. Because I did, I did heard you do get some benefits when you are Hydro yourself. So let's see here. Yeah, resonate with Hydro. Plus, I do want to check out the new, the new skills. Alright. Alright, so let's see here. 
Aha. Interesting. So the skill shoots water bullets. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, just a stream of hydro bullets. That's kind of funny. Okay, well, well, that was a hold skill. What happens if I just tap it? Okay. Interesting. Now I'm curious what the burst does. Okay. Let's see here. This is the spot where Lenny wanted us to wait. Right. Mm hmm. There she is. Oh, look! Isn't that her? Hmm. Oh no! Did she notice us? She started running the other direction! What should we do? Should we chase her? She might also be trying to lure us away. Nothing's happened for a while now. Paimon wonders if Lenny caught the thief. Hmm. Now let's find him. Yeah, let's go! Okay, let me claim my achievements real quick and then we'll move on. Let's see here. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, anything else? Hmm. Yeah, there's, there's definitely a new achievement list. Achievement category. Alright, cool. Alright. So, uh, yeah. Let's wait. Uh, there is a... Yeah, there's a Hydroculus, but I'll pick that up later. Are you sure that's all she took? You should check to make sure you're not missing anything else. N no, that was all. Oh, I can't thank you enough. I didn't notice a thing earlier. I anyway, I should be going now. Thanks again. Oh, were you returning with the thief had stolen? That's right. Pity I wasn't able to catch her. She distracted me by dropping the thing she stole on the ground. By the time I looked back, she was already gone. Hmm. I saw the general direction she went, but Linny twisted his ankle, and I needed to make sure he was okay. Hmm. Oh, did you get hurt, Linny? I'll be all right. It's just a twisted ankle, that's all. In fact, it's feeling better already. All right. If you want to play at being a hero, at least try not to get hurt doing it. Imagine what would happen if you managed to derail our performance as a result. <laughs> <laughs> you're right, you're right. Sorry, Lynette. <sighs> I have to admit that the thief was even more skilled than I had anticipated. But at least we were able to get the stolen items back, so it wasn't a complete failure. What a slippery little thief! Guess things turned out alright in the end, though. Lenny's initiative paid off! All right, let's put this little detour behind us. We should go to the Court of Fontaine now. Yeah, look at those potato graphics off in the distance. It's kind of disgusting. It's like, yikes. Like, I know I set this on medium, but come on. Can't be that bad. I mean, what, I mean, what does it look like when I put on high? I'm just, I'm just kind of curious. Eh, still kind of looks like potato. Okay, butter. I mean, I, again, I would keep it on high, but you know, I'm just kind of putting on medium just in case because I don't, I don't necessarily want the frame rate stutters. Okay, uh, yeah, I think that's good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now we go where the hydroculus is. Right 
this thing to go into the city? What an ingenious way to get around! People in Fontaine really know how to use water! I mean, it is the, it is the land of Hydro. This is an aqua bus. It allows people to travel between several key locations around Fontaine. Alright, aqua bus. I like it. It's pretty convenient, but the ride can become a little dull after a while. The scenery is always the same. That's why it's better to travel with friends. Right. So you mean it's still boring even when I'm riding with you? Yeah, there's a new type of dog in the, in the background. Uh, no, that's not what I meant. It's just that, uh, well, you don't really talk that much. <laughs> Besides, it doesn't really feel like a real trip when it's just the two of us. It's the same as being at home. <laughs> Hmm. Whatever. Guess that's what it's like to be an older brother. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's about time for us to leave. Let's get on board. Hmm. Oh. Charlotte. Okay. <laughs> Traveler, Paimon. Mm-hmm. Long time no see. Charlotte. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Charlotte. Oh, I'd never guessed I'd bump into you all riding the Aquabus. In the story of my life, this is big news. What are you doing in Fontaine? I didn't hear anything about you paying us a visit. Yeah, it's quite the coincidence. But as travelers, we're always on the move. It's not surprising that nobody knew we were coming. <laughs> Uh, though, we still have no idea how the Hydro Archon knew about us. Oh, let Paimon introduce you to our new friends! Oh, no need for introductions, Paimon. I would recognize the great magician Linny and his assistant Lynette anywhere. I wouldn't be much of a reporter if I didn't know who they were. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Charlotte, a reporter for the Steambird. Mm-hmm. Nice to meet you. From the Steambird, huh? We've often relied on your paper to promote our performances. It's an honor to meet you. <sighs> now that everyone knows each other, Fontaine suddenly doesn't feel like such an unfamiliar place. So, what have you been up to lately, Charlotte? Any big news? Not too much. When there isn't any breaking news, I mainly cover the trials at the Opera House. Okay. You can still manage to keep readers' attention as long as you tell things from a clever enough angle, even if it's the same old topics. For example, reporting on how a scammer once deceived vulnerable girls into relationships, or how a financial criminal was once so poor that they ate a single piece of bread for five days. Uh-huh. Ah, oh, you're right. Seems you know me pretty well. What I'm really after is exclusive, sensational news pieces that could shake the country. These smaller stories are a waste of my talents. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just remembered. I've been following a case lately. Well, a series of cases, actually. You mean the serial disappearances of young women case? That's right. These stories are the talk of the town right now, and it's probably the most mysterious case we've ever seen. If I'm the first with a draft ready to publish when the case is finally cracked, and it's the headline story in the Steambird, oh, when that happens, I bet all the other reporters will shed tears of envy. I've already gathered all kinds of materials. I just can't wait for the truth to be revealed. So, what is the serial disappearances of young women case? You mean the culprit hasn't been found? That's right. The first missing girl case happened almost 20 years ago. Uh-huh. And ever since, after a period of time, another girl disappears. What the cases have in common is that the girls are all of a similar age, and that they've all vanished without a trace. Kind of scary. But the scariest part is that to this day, none of the girls have ever been found. Many suspects have been arrested over the years in connection with this case, but shortly after each arrest, Another disappearance would always happen. Hmm. Is there like a cop cat out there? Yes, it's possible. 
But either way, I believe that every case has some precise truth behind it, waiting to be exposed. Yes, I agree. And at the very least, the family of those missing girls deserves some sort of explanation. I just imagined for a second what I would do if Lynette were to suddenly disappear. I'd pay any price to get her back, and then find a way to track down the culprit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely noticing a lot of interesting lo locales in the background. Please don't imagine that, Lenny. Okay, cool. All right, cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They're pretty clean. Yeah, it's almost like I'm in a sci-fi setting. Charlotte. <laughs> Bye now. Oh, be sure to stop by and see me at the Steambird when you have time. Mm-hmm. Obviously. What a tough job. Always running around and interviewing everyone. <sighs> well, where should we go now? Good question. If you don't mind, how about we stop by my home first? Besides, I still have all the materials we collected. Sure. We wouldn't mind at all. This city is so huge, Paimon wouldn't know where to start anyway! Oh wow. Yeah, pretty high tech. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, pretty impressive. Yeah, this is definitely the most advanced nation so far. I mean, I do wonder what Natalie and Snatch and I will look like. But cool. So let's see here. Uh, yeah. We should probably unlock this area first. And let's head to the statue real quick. Uh, but yeah, it was definitely nice to catch up with Charlotte. I, I, I don't... I, I imagine the dialogue when you first meet her will change. Yeah, yeah, I imagine the dialogue will change when you see her in this in this part of the story will change if you haven't done the event. You know, the uh, Genius Invocation event. Yeah, the card game event. Yeah, I imagine if you haven't done that event, the dialogue will change. Mm hmm. So don't mind me, just, just strolling around. Take it, take it a gander. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And right now I'm just trying to get to the statue. Yes, this is up there, okay. Yep. Oh. So, we have robots. Interesting. Okay, there's the blacksmith. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. I guess I'm gonna call them money pyramids. Okay. Well, we got a waypoint right here. I'm glad you took that. Whoop! Catherine! Yeah, 
Yeah, what's up, Catherine? Ad Astra Abyssosk. Welcome to the Adventurous Guild. Mm hmm Yeah, we meet again. Okay. Cool. Alright, so let's see here. Uh, how do we get to the statue? Hmm. Uh, yeah, boy. Yeah, it's probably going to take me a, a little bit to... To navigate this area. Also. Yeah, that is steam. Yeah, I guess that's part of the blacksmith. Okay. Okay, but but seriously, how do I get to the statue on foot? Okay, there's the jewelry store. Yeah, alchemy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, lots of people around here. I heard something. Mm-hmm. So very fancy. And let's see here. Hmm. Okay, well here's another waypoint. Elevator I can take. Hmm. Oh, music disc. Yeah, don't mind me. This is. <laughs> yeah, number one hundred. Nice. Okay, no waypoint. All right. Yeah, I'm just getting all the waypoints. But what I'm really looking for is the statue of seven. Hmm. Yeah, like, do I have to climb up in order to get get to it? I mean, I see the light. Huh. Okay. Okay. I, I, yeah, I guess this is the reputation. It's probably not available to me right now. But, you know, I might as well check. Maybe another time. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay. Well, you're an interesting thing. Okay. Okay, hold on. Yeah, excuse me. Okay, this looks like a... a food stall, pretty much. Okay. Yeah, is this like tea or coffee? Yeah, what, what are you buying? What are you selling? Okay, well... Well, we got some recipes, kind of figured. Yeah, let's bite them. Okay. Fanta. Okay. Sure, I guess I can buy some. And we'll buy five. And uh, yeah, buy two of these. Buy two of these. Uh, sure, get five more coffee, coffee beans. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah. Unlock them. Okay, uh, but seriously, I, I do want to get to the Statue of Seven. Yeah, what, 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 are you, what are you buying? What are you selling? Okay, more, more recipes? Okay, yeah, I'll gladly take them. That does look good. Yeah, 
But like, I swear, this game makes me hungry sometimes. Mm, nope. Okay, yeah, spend, spend some money. Yeah, learn. Okay, so, uh... Okay, does, does this... Does this have an elevator right here? Yeah, does this middle area have an ele elevator I can use? Or maybe some stairs? I don't know. Okay, okay. I see ya, I see ya. Hello? This is how I get up, okay. Okay, yeah, it's coming, it's coming. Okay. Uh I guess we'll go to floor two. This is where we got here. Nope. Oh. Okay. Not exactly sure what I did there. Welcome to the court of Fontaine. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, right, right now I'm just looking around. Honestly, I don't think I ever did got that Hydroculus back all the way up there, but maybe another time. That, that that was a chest, okay. Like a like a reskin of of existing chests. Okay. Well, whatever. Okay, I guess we'll try floor three. Yeah, floor three. Floor four, pretty much at the very top. Okay, okay, here we go. And yeah, there's what I was looking for. Right. You look like an important quest, so I'm not gonna bother with you. Yeah, hopefully it's not a proximity base mission. Start. Okay. There you go. Mm-hmm. Nice, and we have one more statue over here. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, it looks like there's gonna be a lot of underground sections. Good thing we do have that updated map. Uh, but yeah, uh, available. Yeah, I imagine that's uh, a big role quest. I imagine it's probably similar to, like, the r, &R quest. That, yeah, like, my biggest fear when coming to this was... A, 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 you know, a huge series of long, drawn-out, non-verbal quests similar to the r, r quest line that took me like 16, 70 hours. Yeah, I imagine this is probably going to be something similar to that, but hey, I guess we'll find out eventually. Okay, cool. Well, we uh, we unlocked the map, so yeah, let's continue on with the story. Yeah, yeah that's right. Okay, yeah, I need 20 in order to get the first level. Kind of figured. Okay. So, yeah, uh, teleport back over here. Yeah, yeah moving on with the qu with the move, yeah, 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 moving on with the main quest. Sorry. Got him up. 
This is our current abode. All right, cool. Ah, oh, family, FHS. your home. Where did everyone else go? I have some new friends that I would like to introduce. Oh, they all just went out a moment ago. Hello. I see. Everyone is getting busier now that father will be returning soon. I suppose that can't be helped. Allow me to introduce you to my little brother, Fremenay. He is a phenomenal diver. All right, Fremenay. Gotcha. Nice to meet you. Uh, hello. <laughs> kind of timid, are you? Nice to meet you. Paimon is Paimon, and this is the Traveler. Oh, you sound very proud to have a diver as a brother, Linny. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, Linny, could you come here for a moment? Hmm? What is it, Fremine? Do you have something to tell me? Hmm. Okay, I see. Is everything all right? Oh, it's nothing. We were just discussing a little housework. Sorry for the interruption. Oh, uh, before I forget, the Traveler and I collected more materials to make magic pockets. Were you able to get any, Fremenay? Yes, I went diving and gathered lots of materials. I was about to give them to you. That's our Fremenay. Always quick with the underwater work. All right, I'll take these to the workshop. Okay. I guess it's raining. This <laughs> is again an umbrella. Hmm. Looks like rain. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're right. But wasn't it clear and sunny just a moment ago? Hmm. Fontaine's weather sure is weird. <laughs> I mean, you should have seen Inazuma. <laughs> I'm afraid that's just how it is here. It often rains on days where there are trials being held in the Opera House, but don't worry, it'll clear up soon enough. Okay. <sighs> hmm? What's wrong, Fremenay? There's a legend about the rain that I tend to believe. It's said that a dragon of water once resided in Fontaine. Though we don't know where the dragon went, Every time it weeps, the skies will cloud up and pour out rain. When I was a child, my mother told me that if I wanted to go outside and play, I should yell toward the sky at the top of my lungs. Hydro Dragon! Hydro Dragon! Don't cry! Hmm. If it's an elemental dragon, then having the power to make it rain wouldn't be very unusual. Paimon, try something. Hydro Dragon! Hydro Dragon! Don't cry! <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Doesn't seem to be of any use. It is just a legend, after all. Yeah. You know, you might be a more popular magician if you understood the concept of romanticism. Hmm. Or could at least play along. <laughs> Sorry. It might be because we've never met the Hydro Dragon. Perhaps it can't be comforted by the words of strangers. Hmm. It rained for longer than I suspected. Oh, it's already getting late. Was there something you needed to do, Linny? Yeah, some preparations for the show at the Opera House. I need to find a way to catch the last Aquabus of the day. On the day of the performance, just ride the Aquabus to the island of Araneus. I'll have Lynette meet you at the fountain in front of the Opera House. Alright, sounds good. Oh, uh, are you leaving now? What is it, Fremine? I'm in a hurry. Oh, I get it. You feel nervous delivering the materials for the magic pockets, is that it? Perhaps we could trouble the Traveler to help us take these materials to the Beaumont workshop and deliver them to the owner there? Yeah, of course. I'm afraid that Fremine can be quite introverted. And the boss there tends to be pretty talkative. Fremine has always been a little afraid of her. No trouble at all! Don't worry, we're on the case! Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, we're experts at being errand girls. Sorry for the inconvenience. I'm quite useless when it comes to such tasks. I'll think of a way to make it up to you. Oh, no need, no need. This will be a walk in the park for us. Yeah, we've done this like a million times. Thanks again, you two. I really can't deal with that lady. Yeah, it's fine, my man. Okay, so I saw the chest. Yep, right over here. Okay. Just a common chest. I'll keep this close. Okay, so, uh... Okay, gotcha, okay. I guess we will warp over here real quick. Okay. Hydro Sigil. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I guess we're going to the blacksmith. Yeah, basically. New customers? Looking to buy, or do you need something made? Or perhaps you're just looking for a chat with me. Oh no, we're just here to deliver some materials. Here they are. They're for making... Uh... What were they called again? <laughs> ah, these must be for magic pockets. I could tell right away. I've already made several orders worth now. Do we need to pay? No, no need. They've already prepaid several batches worth. When they told me what they'd be using them for, I even offered them a discount. But they insisted on paying the full amount, saying that I had a business to run. <laughs> it seems both their hearts and their pockets are made of gold. Hmm. Wow. So, is Lenny actually loaded? Mm, I can't say for sure, but who knows? Maybe there's good money to be made being a magician in Fontaine. Hey! Is this machine what you use to make stuff here? It looks really advanced! Mm hmm Why use your hands when a machine can do the work? It would be a waste not to use the latest technology. And wasting is a kind of crime. But where does a big machine like that get its power from? Good question. Ah, uh, well... It's a little complicated. I'm not sure I can put it in layman's terms for you. But basically... Everything we usually use here in the city is powered by indemnidium. It's a type of energy that's produced from trials. Okay. Huh? How can trials produce energy? Well, I'm not completely sure of all the details myself, but basically... When a trial is in session, the Oratrice Mécanique d'Analyse Cardinale harvests people's belief in justice and converts it into energy to be used all around Fontaine. So... That's what its other function is? Hmm. Paimon heard that the Oratrice was created by the Archon to make judgments. But... Uh, Paimon still doesn't get it. How could something unreliable like people's beliefs be turned into a stable power source for these machines? Hmm. Oh, Venti and Nahida both said the gods rely on beliefs to obtain power. relies on the machine to take the energy created by belief and turn it into power for all of Fontaine, right? Right. Even though I've never heard anyone really put it that way before, it sounds like it makes sense. Besides indemnidium, we have another type of energy called Numusia. It isn't produced by the power of the Archon, but it is unstable by nature. Even now, it still cannot be widely used by civilians. <sighs> I thought I'd find you hard at work, but here you are chatting the day away. Since you're already talking, I'm sure you wouldn't mind a few words with me. Are these guys going to give us some trouble? Y you again? Didn't I already promise you that I'd have the more I owe to Conferee of Cabriere by next month? Why are you hounding me now? Yeah, but how do we know that you won't go running off by the end of this month? I want 50% today. Wait, no? 70%. Huh? You... Seems business isn't so great for the workshop. We've already finished our job and delivered the materials. Maybe now's a good time to leave? Hmm. 
Hey, hold on. Before you go around Hello. trying to collect payments, why don't you settle your own debts first? All right, what are you doing here, child? If Confrere of Cabriere wants to poach clients from Northland Bank, that's fine. But I'm afraid you still owe the bank a hefty sum of more. So why don't we work things out between us first, before you get back to your little conversation here? Ah, uh, you're from Northland Bank. But we said we'll pay everything we owe next month. Why are you hounding me now? Uh, Traveler, Paimon! I didn't think I'd run into you here in Fontaine. What are the chances? Mm-hmm. We're surprised to see you too! What are you doing here in Fontaine? You didn't want to stay in Snezhnaya? <laughs> Long story short, I've already been in Fontaine for some time now. And honestly, things have been pretty boring. Oh. But it seems that fate brought our paths together today. Not only will I have some good friends here now, but ones who always seem to find trouble. <laughs> Either way you look at it, it seems things are going to get a lot more interesting now. Pretty sure we'd want to avoid anything that you'd find interesting. Besides, our trip here has gone pretty well so far. Right, Trevor? I don't mind a little excitement now and then. <clears throat> uh, hey, you, Northland Bank boy. Aren't you forgetting something? <laughs> don't interrupt. It's not often I run into the Traveler like this. Why don't you wait for me over there for a while? Uh, you kidding? Aren't you the one looking for us? You really expect us to sit and twiddle our thumbs while you catch up with your friends? Yes, deal with it. Listen to me, boy. If you want your Mora, fine. Why don't you come and take it? Hey, I just said not to interrupt. Oh, by the way, Traveler, the last time I took Tonya and Tusser ice fishing, Tusser said... Hey! That's way over the line! All right, boys! Let's see who has to pay up now! And boy. Uh, can you at least let me finish one sentence? Fine. Though the bank told me not to get rough with our clients. You're the ones who started it. This is an act of self-defense. <laughs> you two will have to be my witnesses, okay? Okay, sure. Well, I'm sure this won't take long. Mm-hmm. All right, so I bring on punks. But you can't hide. Yeah, get out of here. Hey, there you go. Yeah, that's right. Scram. Oh, what's your deal, Brad? How are you so strong if you're just a staffer from Snezhnaya's Northland Bank? Wait. Don't tell me you're... Uh... Mm hmm He's a harbinger. Oh, now you notice. It's a little late, don't you think? Just make sure you understand that you don't mess with Northland Bank. Got it? Mm-hmm. Uh, huh? Huh? Now's my chance! Yeah, careful. Oop. Okay. Huh. That was weird. Yeah, that was weird. Hmm. Yeah, what just happened? I'm not sure. It's as if I suddenly lost control of my hydro powers when I needed them. Maybe there's something wrong with my vision? Hmm. Strange. How could that happen? First time Paimon's ever heard of someone losing control of their vision. Never mind. It doesn't matter. If I want to stay sharp, I shouldn't be relying too much on my vision anyway. Besides, I always have my delusion in case I need it. Hmm. Yeah, I suggest you not use your delusion. So what are you doing in Fontaine, child? I don't see its work for Northland Bank. Well, I guess it's because I've been in a bad mood lately. Oh. Huh? What kind of reason is that? Wait, since when do you feel down about anything? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I still have a lot to learn about myself. But recently, there seems to be some sort of restless power stirring inside of me. And I don't know why, but every now and then I feel like I'm in a terrible mood. Hmm. Maybe you lose 
losing control of your vision just now is connected with that power you're feeling inside. Hmm. That is a possibility. I can't remember if I ever mentioned it before, but when I was 14, I fell into some unknown abyss. It was during that time I learned nearly all of my abilities. The one who took me under her wing and taught me was named Skirk. Mm -hmm. She was always quiet and very mysterious. Nobody knew where she came from or what she had been through, and she was always very strict when teaching me combat techniques. One time, I asked her why she was willing to take me on as an apprentice. From what I could make of her answer, it was... Because I had awakened it, and traces of it remained on me. She said that all my combat training would be useful in the future. But what is it? What did you awaken? She never explained that. But my guess is that it's related to a dream I saw when I had just fallen into that abyss. In my dream, I was in the deepest depths of the sea, and the boundless seabed was all around me. But in front of me appeared a whale that was so massive, I felt like I couldn't breathe. A whale? Oh, that sounds familiar! When we fought against you before, you summoned a huge whale that seemed to leap at us. Is that the one? Mm-hmm. Good times. <laughs> That's just an abstract form of a whale that I create using my elemental powers. It takes that shape because the scene I dreamt of the whale has always been stuck in my mind. I'll never forget it. So you used the whale as inspiration for one of your moves? Huh. Seems a little twisted to Paimon. So why don't you just go ask your master? Maybe she knows the answer. You make it sound so easy. Ever since the incident I experienced there, I've never stopped searching for Master Skirk and that unknown abyss. But it's been years now, and I've still found nothing. There isn't even a trace of the place where I remember falling into the abyss. Oh, it sounds like some kind of ghost story. Yeah, I'm out of leads at this point, but there's nothing more I can do. It seems that strange encounters in this world tend to be elusive like that. Oh, seems the time really flies when I'm talking with you. I just remembered I have somewhere else I need to be, so I should get going. Okay. What? More work for the Northland Bank? And no, it's more of a personal appointment. Lately, I've been sparring with some of Fontaine's official champion duelists whenever I'm feeling bored. Hmm. Official champion duelists? You mean it's their job to duel? Yep. In Fontaine, before a criminal goes to court, they're given one chance to defend their honor by requesting a duel with an official champion duelist. Interesting. The champion duelists are all powerful fighters selected from among the nation's best. And the duel itself is a no-holds-barred fight with no specified stopping point. So engaging in such a duel is regarded as a symbol of defending your honor. If a criminal manages to win the duel, they'll be acquitted. But if they lose, they'll have no choice but to stand trial. And the worst case scenario is that you're simply killed in the duel. Oof. Though it's rumored that Fontaine has a death penalty, from what I can tell, no one has ever been officially sentenced to death. So really, the only people who opt to duel are those who have suffered a grave injustice in being accused, or those who greatly value their honor. Otherwise, why gamble with your life? So, do many people actually get out of their trials by winning the duel? Apparently, it's exceedingly rare for anyone to actually win. Fontaine probably enacted this system as a way to show that the nation respects the honor of its citizens. Besides, none of the champion duelists are to be trifled with, which is exactly why I was itching to face them as soon as I got to Fontaine. Apparently, the one I'm meeting today, Clorend, is the strongest of the champion duelists. I had been asking her for some time before she finally agreed to face me today. Okay. Well, that's child for ya! Hmm. Paimon feels like we heard that name somewhere before. Clorand. Huh. Oh, before I forget, I want you to have this. Huh? Huh? Your... vision? You're seriously just giving it away? 
Yeah, don't you need this? I'm just worried that it could become uncontrollable again. I'd be pretty upset if it got in the way of my duel. So, I think I'll be better off without it for now. Well, what about your sense of ambition? I mean, I mean, back in, you know, the Inazuma quest, you know, when someone's vision's taken away, they pretty much lost their their hopes and dreams and ambitions. Besides, I just need you to hold on to it for a short while. I'll come retrieve it when I have some time later. Paimon knows what you're up to. You just want an excuse to come talk to us again, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever gave you that idea? I'll be in touch later. <laughs> that sneaky guy. He said he's been feeling down lately, but he seemed the same as ever to Paimon. <sighs> well, seems we don't have much to do for now. We might as well walk around and see the city before Lenny's performance. Okay. Wow! Who could have seen that coming? The reporter who was barely around for most of the story was the murderer all along! Yeah, no spoilers. Uh, sorry. Paima was just surprised, that's all. <sighs> Paima never saw that twist coming. The murder mystery novels here are amazing! The whodunits here in Fontaine are a lot different than the light novels you see from Yai Publishing House. Hmm. Both have their merits, but Paimon thinks this style of novels are more... Well, novel. <laughs> novel. It's so exciting to reach the moment when the mystery is uncovered, especially in the one Paimon was just reading. You should buy a copy and read it too. You've already spoiled it for me. Oh, sorry about that. Paimon will be more careful next time. Uh, hey, shouldn't we be heading to the Opera House to see Linny's performance soon? It's almost time for the show to start, so we should get going. Linny said that the Opera House is on Arrhenius, so let's go ride the Aquabus! Okay. Okay, so I wonder, uh... Yep, there's his vision. Yep, it's a five-star item. But again, you, you you practically need this. I mean, a vision is practically an extension of, of who you are. I mean, without it, you're just kind of lifeless. Yeah, without it, you just feel like a part of you is missing. I mean, I mean, I mean, we've already experienced that kind of that kind of scenario. That's that type of situation back at Inazuma. So yeah. Okay. Well, whatever. All right. So we need to head back over there. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I guess we're taking the elevator. And it says that there's a waypoint underneath me. Okay. Yeah, I guess this is like a sewer entrance. I wonder <laughs> if we can actually use those in the future. Probably should have installed some stairs. Okay, so yeah, this, this one. Then uh, via line. Effects. All right, let's see here. Hello. Okay. So here we go. Choo choo. Welcome to the Navi oh. line. I am Elfan. The boat will be departing imminently. 
Please do not stick your head, hands, or other body parts outside the boat. The Aquabus operator is not responsible for any accidents or injuries resulting from doing so. Yeah, look at that over there. Also, please remember to buy the Steambird. Though I don't read it myself. <laughs> okay, so I was actually pretty surprised that I was actually voiced. The destination Oop, of the Contour is Erinias. Points of interest worth visiting include the Fountain of Lucene and the Opera Epiquest. If you look to the left in the direction we are currently traveling, you will see the famous Fontaine Research Institute up in the sky. An experiment gone wrong turned new sightseeing opportunity. Uh -huh. Human ingenuity truly is a wondrous thing. Hmm. Interesting birds. Mm hmm. Yeah, look at that over there. Yeah, I see a chest and another shrine. Yeah, exploration's gonna be nutty around here. We are now approaching our final destination. Please be sure to bring all your personal belongings with you as you disembark. Alright. Even though I will take any forgotten items to the lost and found, the paperwork is rather annoying as Melazine hands are not suitable for grasping pens. <laughs> Please be careful when disembarking. It has been my honor to be your tour guide this trip. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. I do wonder if your voice lines will repeat. Alright. This <laughs> is Welcome to Fontaine. Thank you. Oh, what the... Uh, I guess that's part of the event. Okay. But whatever. Yeah, yeah, fun fact, there's an event going on. Okay. Anyway, uh, yeah, there's a waypoint nearby. Ooh. Yeah, those are pretty. Alright. Rainbow Rose. Gotcha. And of course I can harvest their seeds. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very pretty around here. Another Hydroculus. They got swans! <laughs> yeah, that's kind of funny. Oink. Alright, cool. Let's see here. Uh, okay. Yeah, pretty much just follow this path. Ignore the frame rate stutters. Hi, Doggo. Uh, of course, there's hilly trolls. I mean, why wouldn't there be hilly trolls? Mm hmm. Yeah, so far, I'm pretty impressed. Alright, let's see here. Mm-hmm. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Nice. Bless us with a bright and healthy child. We pray. I don't know why you always feel the need to ask so much. I'll be happy as long as our child is healthy and lives a peaceful life. <laughs> I guess if there are, kid, then there's no doubt they'll turn out smart. Okay. Maybe this is one of the customs in Fontaine. There sure are a lot of couples here. Vache. Hmm? Uh, what? What's wrong? Vashay, 
Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll have another episode. No, Lima didn't say anything. Are you hearing things? And yeah, there was a voice just now. Welcome to the Fountain of Lucene. Yep. All the water flowing through Fontaine converges here. It's customary for newlyweds to come here and wish for children. Okay. Lynette! You scared Paimon! When did you get here? Also, that was a delayed reaction. Mm, when he asked me to wait here for you, remember? Uh, right. Yeah, I heard a voice just now. What do you mean? There are a lot of people here right now. Yeah, it's almost like the voice came from a fountain. Huh? Hey, you're not trying to scare Paimon, are you? Besides, it's the middle of the day. It's not the time for eerie things. <laughs> hmm, I see. I might be able to tell you something that could help explain the voice you heard. In fact, you might not be imagining things at all. I suspect that what you heard is a result of your hypersensitivity to the hydro element. Others in my family have had similar experiences. Okay. It's because of her sensitivity to the hydro element? But what would hearing a voice have to do with elemental power? When do you cry, Paimon? Huh? Wait, what? What does that have to do with anything? Just answer me. When do you cry? I guess when she's sad. Uh... When Paimon's really sad? Oh, and when Paimon's super happy. Oh, and also when Paimon's really, really scared. Right. Then you should understand that tears contain your most intense emotions. Like I just mentioned, the Fountain of Lucene is where all the flowing water in Fontaine converges. Even the tears that fall to the ground will eventually gather here. So maybe what you heard was the intense emotion coming from someone's tears. Hmm. So, what did the voice say? Huh. If you were hearing their emotions, then Paimon wonders what happened to them. Rather than worrying about them, we should worry about my brother first. Don't let that calm look of his fool you. He tends to get pretty nervous just before a performance. So chatting with Lenny might help him relax a little before he goes on stage. Oh, right. That makes sense. Let's go in and see Lenny. All right, cool. Hmm. Okay, I guess I make offerings to this fountain. Let's see here. Okay. So, uh, very similar to the Sakura tree and the big onion at Sumeru. Yeah, the tree of dreams. Yeah, similar to those those two trees. These those two trees. I I spend my sigils here and get rewards. So yeah. So let's see here. Mhm. Mm I assume there's 50 levels, just like last time. Yep, 50 levels. Okay. All right. Cool. So it takes 30, okay. 30 for each level, gotcha. Okay, well I only had the one, so yeah. I will definitely be back here when I click more. Alright, let's get inside. Traveler and Paimon, good to see you. I knew you two would come. Are you kidding? We want to miss it for the world. We've been looking forward to it. <laughs> I can tell, judging by how early you've arrived. But you're actually right on time. 
The audience still hasn't started entering the venue yet, which means now is the perfect chance for us to take you to the best seats in the house. Wait just a moment, I'll fetch the tickets. Alright, also, uh, it kind of looks like it's a little steamy or humid in here. I mean, it definitely has an interesting effect. Yeah, everything has this blur effect. The Opera House has assigned seating, so you always have to make reservations. I've already reserved your seats, and here are your tickets. Alright, thank you. Ooh, front row seats! Thanks, Linny! Mm -hmm. Don't mention it. There's no need to keep thanking me. Hey, Linny! Could you come over here and take a look at this? Oh, I'll be right there. Seems there's an issue with the stage props over there. That's Cal, my assistant, calling me. I'll go lend him a hand. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll just go to our seats. You go ahead, Linny. Alright, cool. I kinda wanna check upstairs real quick. Mm hmm. Yeah, this is a big door. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, quite the show. Okay. Not a whole lot of people so far. Not usually your job, because you're the one that usually talks for me. Uh, you little... <laughs> of course you put this on Paimon! <laughs> Excuse me, I did not realize you felt awkward. I am terribly sorry. I would be perfectly happy to chat with you if that is what you would like. Oh! Uh... So you heard all of that, did ya? <laughs> Boy, you sure have good ears. Paimon thought she was keeping her voice down. <laughs> uh, wait, that's not it. Paimon's... sorry. Um, Paimon's the one who was being rude, talking under her breath like that. Uh, so, let's talk, but, uh, what should we talk about? <laughs> She's making this more awkward. Uh, oh, Paimon's got it. You're also here early and sitting in the front. Are you a friend of Linny's too? A friend, you say? Well, if Mr. Linny would like to be my friend, I would be more than happy to reciprocate. Oh, so you're not friends with Linny, then? Oh, this is getting more awkward by the second. <laughs> ah, uh, Paimon nearly forgot to make her introduction. Nice to meet you. Paimon is Paimon, and this is the Traveler. We just arrived in Vaudain. Mm -hmm. It is an honor to meet you two. I have heard of your deeds across Tavat. And as required by proper etiquette, I will also introduce myself. I am... Oh, Monsieur Nervillet. What an honor it is to have you here to see my show. Ah, Mr. Linney. I should say it is in fact an honor for me to see your performance in person. Oh, wait. Nervillet? Could he be... Hmm. Hmm? I saw you all chatting just now. But it seems you still don't know who Monsieur Neuvillette is. Nope. Allow me to introduce you to Fontaine's Chief Justice. That seat is always reserved for him. It wouldn't be too much to say that he's the symbol of justice and honesty here in Fontaine. Okay. Whoa! Uh, sorry for being so rude just now. Paimon had no idea you were such an important person. No offense taken. 
Being Chief Justice is merely what I do for work. Nearly every person has their usual reserved seat, so I'm not so special, really. And by the way, I should probably let you know, even though I would prefer not to, there's someone sitting up there in the VIP seats that has been striking a pose for quite a while now. Mm-hmm. The Archon. I believe she is trying to give you a most elegant and impressive first impression. So I think you should take notice of her sooner rather than later, otherwise she may become... flustered. <laughs> huh? Oh, it's Farina, the Hydro Archon. Huh. She sure has a smug and satisfied look on her face. Guess she has no idea that you saw right through her act. Very good. That is for the best. No need to pay her any more attention. We may now enjoy the show. Okay. Huh? So is this what things are like between the Chief Justice and the Hydro Archon? All right. Please wait just a moment longer. I've pretty much finished my preparations, and the performance will start as soon as the audience has made their way to their seats. Yay! The show is finally about to start! Ooh, boy, I can hardly wait! Kaiman's never seen a real live magic show before! Ooh! They're dimming the lights! The show must be starting! Shh! Be quiet. Paimon will try to stay quiet. <laughs> Welcome, one and all, to the Opera Epicles. I am the star of today's show, Linny. And over here is my sister, Lynette, who will be working as my wonderful assistant. Please, let's give her a warm welcome. Hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> I know she may seem to be a little sleepy right now, but that's just a sign that she's nervous. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Now, some of you may be thinking, two vision holders who can freely manipulate elemental powers performing magic is not true magic at all. So, I would like to take a moment to assure you that elemental powers will have nothing to do with what you will witness on the stage today. Okay. Both Lynette and myself have removed our visions for the show. That way, even the gods won't be able to help us. Oh, good point. That's what makes the show real magic. Now, without further ado, let the show begin. Lynette will now exit the stage to make some preparations. I know you might miss her, but don't worry. She'll be coming right back on stage momentarily. Perhaps in an unexpected way. I'm sure she'll be stealing the spotlight soon enough. Oh, and before I forget, there's one more thing I should say. You never know what can happen in the blink of an eye. Mm-hmm. A magician's greatest skill is making things disappear or appear. The possibilities are endless. And nothing in the hat. Hmm. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Oh, cards. Oh. But this isn't what you came for. These little tricks. You've seen them all before. So it's time for something truly extraordinary. Mm -hmm. Don't something you different. think? This one's a little tricky. Okay, okay. Using this water tank, I shall make my sister vanish completely. Right before your very eyes. Okay, okay. It's actually quite simple. 
She'll just turn into air bubbles and float right out of the top. Oh no! Huh? I told them to check all the props carefully. With the lid on, even air can't escape. An amateur magician would be getting very nervous right around now. <laughs> Luckily, it's me on stage, so let me show you what a true virtuoso can do. Oh. Yeah, she's gone. But that means she's naked, right? Lynette, are you still there? Don't go too far. We don't want to use up all our magic. Hi, I'm back. Uh-huh. Okay. I guess she just got another pair of clothes. Very nice, very nice. Show. If we could see easily through his tricks, then that would mean that his skills are still lacking. To appreciate magic, you should focus on the show happening on stage, rather than getting caught up in trying to see that which has been intentionally hidden. Huh, guess you're right. Hyman couldn't believe her eyes when Lynette reappeared. Amazing! Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I'm glad you enjoyed that performance. But, our magical journey has only just begun. I've prepared even more astonishing surprises for everyone here. The magic of transformation and disappearance can go far beyond what you've just seen. I'm sure many of you are thinking that escaping the water tank was impressive enough. But Lynette is still my assistant after all. In which case, I have ample time to make all necessary preparations. So, for my next trick, I will require the participation of one lucky audience member. Oh? Please, if my assistants could bring out the magical boxes now... There are two boxes, and only two boxes. One is here, and one is there in the aisle among the audience. I'm sure many of our clever audience members have already guessed our next magic trick. <laughs> a swap! Swap. Our lucky audience member and I will each enter a magic box. After one minute, we will each emerge from the opposite box. Now please, everyone pay very close attention to the box you see here. Don't give me any chance to make a move. Wow! How's he gonna do this? Hey, do you think this is all magic tricks, or does Lenny have actual superpowers? Let's just watch and see. The lucky audience member will be generated by this random number selector. It selects numbers entirely at random. Even I don't know who will be chosen to participate. Now then, let's begin. Oh, let me see. Oh, row 7, seat 3. Congratulations! You now have the chance to experience magic firsthand for an entire minute. All right. Please, come forward. My assistant will take you beside the magic box. I'm sorry, it might be a little cramped inside, but no need to feel nervous. We've carefully arranged everything for you to be as comfortable as possible. You don't need to do anything, but no matter what strange things may happen, don't come out of the box. If the magic is interrupted, who knows where you might end up. You might even find yourself in the Fortress of Meripede. Huh? Oh, <laughs> okay. All right. Before I enter the magic box, there is one more thing I need to ask the audience to do. Could you all give me a countdown? A countdown. Like this. 60, 59, 58. Just keep counting down. 
You can go a little faster or slower if you like. I won't be able to see anything in the pitch black box, so I'll be relying on your voices to know when time is up. Oh, and no tricks now. If you quickly count from 60 in just 30 seconds, then I'll be in a tough spot. Ooh! Paimon kinda wants to count faster after hearing him say that! Hmm. <laughs> no, no, that won't do. I can see it in your eyes. You still can't be trusted. Let's practice together. Come on, repeat after me. 60, 59, 58. 60, 59, 58! That's right, perfect. Keep it going. All right, I'll see you all on the other side once you've finished counting. I am counting in my head. I think things are exciting enough in here as it is. Merely a consequence of my identity and personality. Do not worry about me. Just enjoy the show. Oh! Alright! You look so serious that Paimon thought you might be feeling uncomfortable or something. 40! 39! 38! Mr. Linny, are you all right in there? Is everything ready? Yes, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm just double-checking the direction of the magic. It would be a disaster if we get sent to the wrong places. For example, mid-air right above the audience. <laughs> Even though he's saying that, Lenny doesn't seem nervous at all. I think it's all part of the show. Sure. Anyway, it doesn't seem like anyone's worried about it. 25! 24! 23! What's wrong, Mr. Linny? I can still hear you moving in there. I seem to have accidentally knocked over a decoration. I'm trying to fix it, but it's pitch black in here. I can't tell left from right. <laughs> Never mind the decorations. There's no time for that. The show is what's important. No, that's unacceptable. I want my show to be perfect. Don't worry, we still have 20 seconds. Hear them counting? 19, 18, 17! Uh, it seems things aren't quite going as planned. I apologize, everyone. It feels like you're all starting to count faster, but that's alright. I know it can be tiring to do such a long countdown. Ten seconds and change is still plenty of time. Ten! Almost there now. Eight. Whew, swapping two people is harder work than you might think. Even a master magician like me can't guarantee I'll get it right the first time. <laughs> hey, wait. Is this the back one? I can't tell. They both look the same inside. Huh? No, that's not it. I'll try again. Seven. Hey, slow down! Six. Honestly! Five! <laughs> four! Three! Uh, whoops! Two. That doesn't count! Zero! Ta-da! <gasps> <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, that's not good. What happened? <laughs> well, shit. 